Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 14th and the 21st of September 2019. So, this is a more turbulent week coming ahead. If I want to characterize it, I want to say that um, basically we're moving towards the autumn equinox uh, at the, the autumnal equinox at the northern globe side of the globe it's the vernal equinox at the southern end of the globe it's a time that the sun would enter the sign of libra 23rd of september if i'm not mistaken that's next week but as we move as we move in on on to that date into that time more and more planets are heading into libra and we're moving into this autumn feeling this feeling of change uh, and in the southern hemisphere this feeling of blooming and regeneration and I would say that Saturday the 14th has this special energy it's the full moon it's the full moon at the 21st degree of Pisces I've talked a lot about that full moon in my previous video so if you want to see uh, how these energies come into play but this is such a fruitful full moon that really calls us to come together that the droplets would understand that they make their waves rise that only by connecting together we become oceanic currents and that that is our power and if not we'd only be teardrops in the rain as Rodger Hauer, rest his soul, uh, at his beautiful monologue in Blade Runner by Ridley Scott. So, um, this is a full moon that has a lot of these energies and I recommend that if you haven't seen last week's video, go and watch it. Sunday the 15th <clears throat> is a sensitive day and so is Monday and Tuesday up to really Wednesday midday Eastern European time. That means that the first end of the week is much more sensitive and needs to be addressed as such. It means that we could act, we could get hurt more easily, we could act out from our own hurt place or hurt each other uh, or other people. Uh, um, without thinking about it too much before or recognizing that we're going to hurt them by saying or doing what we so hastily did or said and then that's Sunday for you you know that's a Chiron moon conjunction opposing uh, a Mercury and Venus and um, then Monday we have a square from the moon to Saturn and Pluto so watch out for judgment and self judgment then Tuesday we have um, all kinds of uh, um, unpleasant things, little unpleasant things happening in the sky that can take away a bit of the satisfaction. It is a moon in Taurus and that certainly can calm things and help us um, <coughs> find, uh, find uh, some uh, condolences in food and drink and, uh, and nourishment, uh, also sensual and emotional nourishment. And Wednesday, the moon is conjunct Uranus. It's a great day to be flexible and, you know, change who you are. But be careful not to be intolerant. Um, however, it's also the day that Saturn will be starting to move direct. And we could see um, issues connecting to authority in our lives and status in our lives and taking responsibility and maturing in our lives start to work better faster and as they should it's as if we've done a lot of work and finally we're getting recognized for it as the days move on from Wednesday onward the moon is going to be trining that uh, uh, Saturn on Wednesday afternoon Eastern European time that means that this is the call sign for the next part of the week which is much nicer in the sky and could give us all a feeling of inner strength of a need for intimacy 
and feeling alive, squeezing that, that zest and understanding that we are more powerful than we thought we were, that we've reached a higher plateau, a stronger base on which we could build our structure on. We have all these trines happening, including between the Sun and the Moon on Thursday and between Mars and Pluto. And that is really about inner strength. It could be about intimacy and passion as well. It could be about managing harmoniously my actions and my um, motives. What is pulling me into action beneath the surface and what is actually happening above it. These mechanisms could be in a way blessed with divine light and we could achieve a wider understanding of how it is that we interact within these two realms, the conscious and the unconscious, or the conscious and the semi-conscious, the emotional and the physical. Um, and then there's trines to the moon, between the moon and Venus and Mercury on Friday, great evening for communication, afternoon for communication with loved ones, Friday the 20th, Eastern European time. Um, remember you have to take it eight hours before if you are in New York, take it nine hours ahead if you are in Sydney, Australia. Saturday the 21st, we're having a grand mutable square in the sky involving Neptune, the Moon, and Gemini, the Sun and Mars, and uh, Jupiter and Ceres. Really calling us to understand the situation of the world, the universe, of nature, to actually harness our communion, harness our um, hope, harness our, uh, as I said, communal power and, and see ourselves as the masses see ourselves as something unified with nature, with the world, and not separated from it. See ourselves as spiritual beings that are a part of a spiritual network of life, um, believing in hope, believing in our ability to change, fighting for what is right, fighting for home, the moon, fighting Mars, Son, we are fighting, we are our self-manifestation. Moon, home, family, our ability to stay emotionally sane. You know? Neptune and Jupiter both talk about God, faith, and nature, and how it was before it was corrupted by man, and then add up Ceres to that Jupiter, the goddess of nature, the great mother, Demeter, bringer of the grain and the fruit and the flowering the 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 the, the, the uh, initiator of spring you know of, of the bloom of spring believing that we could actually realign nature or help nature to realign if we walk a communal path if we believe in hope if we give up something of our own needs to a higher cause, that Mars, Neptune, opposition, giving up something personal for a higher cause, without feeling too much of a martyr about it, understanding that this is the only way that we could actually save ourselves. The world would go on, nature would go on, it's mankind and all the living creatures that are currently on this earth that are going to suffer the worst end of these consequences. So, um, yeah, may the, may the droplets understand that they're the waves and they're the currents. Indeed, they are the ocean itself. And that optimic note, I'm sending you off to spread the light. And may I spread the light myself. And may we never fail ourselves, nor all of the rest of us. May we all live long.